Hi, my name is Dan with DroneBlog.com. Today's video will go over how to roll back the Mini 3 Pro and RCN1 remote controller firmware using the DJI Assistant 2 software. Also, we'll factory reset the DJI RC from within the preloaded DJI Fly software on the remote controller. First, we'll look at the Mini 3 Pro firmware. If your Mini 3 Pro has firmware that can be rolled back to a previous version, first, we'll want to connect the USB-C cable that came with the Mini 3 Pro Fly More combo to your PC or Mac. Without connecting the Mini 3 Pro, open the DJI Assistant 2 software and log into your DJI account. There will be a screen showing that the Mini 3 Pro will then need to be connected. With the USB-C cable that came with the Mini 3 Pro, connect the drone to the computer via the USB-C cable. After the Mini 3 Pro is connected, turn on the Mini 3 Pro and the DJI Assistant 2 software will recognize the drone. Press the DJI Mini 3 Pro icon on the connected devices screen. On the Firmware Update tab, you will see a listing of Mini 3 Pro firmware versions. If you can downgrade to a previous version, the option will be highlighted in blue. If not, there will be no downgrade option available. Choose the option that works for your particular situation. Now we'll look at the RCN1 remote controller firmware. Like with the Mini 3 Pro firmware rollback, the RCN1 will need to be connected to the DJI Assistant 2 software. Connect the USB-C cable that came with the Mini 3 Pro to your PC or Mac. Without connecting the RCN1 controller, open the DJI Assistant 2 software and log in to your DJI account, if you've not already done so prior. There will be a screen showing that the RCN1 remote controller will then need to be connected. With the USB-C cable that came with the Mini 3 Pro, connect the RCN1 to the computer via the USB-C cable and turn the remote controller on. After the RCN1 is connected, the DJI Assistant 2 software will recognize the RC. Press the DJI RCN1 icon on the connected devices screen. On the Firmware Update tab, you'll see a listing of Mini 3 Pro firmware versions available. Again, if you can downgrade to a previous version, the option will be highlighted in blue. Now, after work in the Assistant 2 software has been completed, either for the Mini 3 Pro or the RCN1, log out of the software and disconnect the USB-C cable. Unlike the Mini 3 Pro and the RCN1, the DJI RC can be factory reset. It's quite easy to reset the remote controller as it's basically an Android smart device. Now, here's something to note. Factory resetting the DJI RC does not roll back the current firmware. It just removes all saved user information and data from the remote controller. Now, to factory reset the DJI RC, after powering on the RC, Touch the top of the screen and slide down twice. This will bring you to the Android drop-down or notifications screen. Tap the settings menu in the top right-hand corner of the screen, and this will open the settings screen. Now tap the system option at the bottom of the screen. Then we'll tap reset options. Go ahead and press Erase All Data, or Factory Reset. You'll then be presented with a listing of what will be erased from the remote controller. You can choose Erase All Data. Now after these steps have been completed, the DJI RC will be back to new condition from a software standpoint. If you're planning to sell or gift your Mini 3 Pro, there is a final necessary step that needs to be performed. This would be the removal of your current DJI account information on the DJI RC. To do this, you'll want to boot up the DJI RC. Once in the DJI Fly app, go to the profile icon at the bottom of the screen. 
Once on the profile screen, scroll down on the right hand side until you see the settings tab. Go into settings. Choose log out on the left side of the screen. Confirm you would like to log out of your DJI account and you're now done. This will promptly remove your personal information and flight data as this information is connected to the user account and not the drone. Well, that's all for this video. If you find these types of video tutorials helpful, please feel free to like and subscribe to our channel. For more tutorials and reviews, head to DroneBlog.com.